Greetings all, Vanny here for Capricorn's Daily Oracle Message. Capricorn, I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. You're finding a good way to end out the week. Okay. Two cards came out in the huge section. So the first card is Detach, Capricorn. You're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. When we hold on too tightly to a desired outcome, it restricts the flow. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. That is all ego that that like holds on to it so closely and so tightly because the ego is the part of your personality that you consciously put out there for the world to see. And it likes having the satisfaction of knowing that it was what created the desired outcome. It likes having that satisfaction and that validation because it makes it feel so much stronger. But the ego is only part of who you are, my love. You are something so much more in depth and complex than just the mask that you put on for the world to see so that you appear strong. And sometimes you have to just allow yourself to not be in control. And I know that might sound crazy, especially Capricorns are very ambitious signs. They like to be the front runners, or at least the one doing a lot of the work. But I want you to also be able to step back and allow the universe to bring in what it's supposed to bring in. Because in this vessel, our amazing etheric soul only has access to so much of the knowledge. We have to consciously work to reconnect ourselves with our higher selves to source energy again to get that information. You have the card comfort. How can you bring more comfort into your life? Can you, you can increase your comfort through tangible things such as soft clothes and food, intangible things such as thinking about loving thoughts and about yourself and inviting peace into your heart. So... When was the last time you did a self-care day, Capricorn? Mine was probably during Thanksgiving week. Um, what can you do just to make yourself feel more at ease? I personally have created this room environment because if you have seen my videos where there's not a green screen, I have a lot of fairy lights and sheer curtains to create a very soft, warm, lit environment in my room. I also have a lot of fluffy blankets and pillows in my nest that is my bed because comfort and having somewhere to curl up and feel safe at the end of the day is very important to me and also like it says intangible things by thinking about loving thoughts about yourself and inviting peace into your heart that is another way that you can bring comfort is to bring in that unconditional love and support from the universe in your heart and in yourself you also have the card of pause. You're being asked to pause before making a quick decision and moving forward. Allow yourself to step back and look at all the possible outcomes. And make sure you're being he you're heading in the right direction before moving forward. I think that certainly goes along with the detach card because if the de your desired outcome has a specific image in mind, that might not be something that serves your greatest and highest good. Because as I said, the ego wants certain things of status, power, and stability. But again, this is why you need to pause and reflect on the world around you so that you can see, is this actually something that I need or should I take a different approach to this? The compassion card states you're being asked to be kinder to yourself, to give yourself a break instead of being a taskmaster, a bully, and a horrible friend. By loving and comforting, be the loving and comforting be the loving comforter who always has your back. Words are hard. I see this as very split in half. You have detach and pause that's talking about your work and comfort and compassion that's talking about your life. So that's wonderful work-life balance going on here for Capricorn. And I love that so much for you because that is like such a hard thing to achieve in this world, in this, in this realm because of our hustle and bustle capitalism culture. You have so many reasons to celebrate, Capricorn. Even the small victories, celebrate each and every one of them because that is another wonderful way to bring in that loving compassion into your heart is by acknowledging that I have done a great thing for myself. 
even if it's just I ate something green today instead of getting fast food or I took an extra long nap before I started on my next task. You deserve to be celebrated. You deserve to be rewarded. And I want you to be able to allow yourself that, to allow yourself to take compliments, to take breaks, to take care of yourself ultimately. Be compassionate to yourself as comp as compassionate you are to other people. Why do you always give to other people before giving to yourself? You deserve it too, my love. So save some of that energy for yourself and pull back so that you can see what is and is not working before you're moving forward in your life. Because yours is worth celebrating and deserves to be shared with other people. And it might be somewhere so much bigger and better than you're allowing yourself to be because of a self-limiting belief. You are wonderful, Capricorn, and you are limitless. Never forget that, my love.